In a constructive meeting held between the Education Policy Review Commission and the Uganda Medical and Dental Practitioners Council in Nakawa today, issues affecting the medical sector, especially in training of medical workers, were raised. According to the representatives, there is no proper regulation, especially when it comes to enrolling medical students, because schools have their own different ambitions. Professor Joel Okulo, the chairperson of the Uganda Medical and Dental Practitioners Council, during his presentation raised concern of having records for the medical doctors, citing that many of them finished training and are unemployed, yet they used taxpayers' money to educate them. We are doing things without proper planning. Do we know the number of doctors that we require? Do you know the number of other cadres of health workers that we require? Do we know the categories of doctors that we require? Do we know how we are going to train them? Do you know how we are going to deploy them? Do we know how we are going to retain them? I say this because there are a lot of doctors actually floating around who are not employed. So why were we training them for? Professor Joel hinted on the current concern of medical interns who are currently on an industrial action due to the low allowances they get. He notes that the numbers are many and they create a loophole in the planning of government. One of the challenges that we're having at the moment is internship. We've got lots of people who are coming out of universities to do internships. The question is, do we know the numbers? The question is, are we planning to take them through internship? Right now, I think there's a number waiting for deployment because we don't have enough centers to deploy them. What does that say about planning? The interns the other day went on strike because government could not afford to deploy them. What does that mean? Was there no budget? For their Uganda Medical and Dental Practitioners Council is advocating for a joint examination for all medical graduates which will test their readiness for the profession. We don't have enough manpower to be able to sit in the classrooms and see that the curriculum that has been presented is taught. So we are crying for uh, a joint exam. This can be done at the end of the five years of training or before internship. But we also want to check them after internship before they enter the, uh, the profession. After an hour-long presentation by the Uganda Medical and Dental Practitioners Council, it was time for the Education Review Commission to seek answers through questions. We, we are very interested. We don't saw it here. You have listed all these challenges. What are the other areas that are good, that have performed? Are there any simulation labs that have been attempted to be done in the, in the, in the wake of technology to help come away from the cadavers and this whole situation where you're hearing policies? I'm wondering if you have justification for national examinations across the years for medical students. The team was prepared and gave answers to every question that was raised before the commission. There are many good things that the country as well as the country have done. Number one, I think as a result of the white paper, uh, many universities have been opened and many medical schools have also been opened. But attending to that is the problem of quality coming out of those uh, universities. Yes, we need doctors. We need the numbers, but not just any numbers. We need to have the quality. We really want to focus on a few things. Uh, one, the programs they offer. Uh, we are quite conversant that there are many institutions which are offering programs which have very little relevance in our societies. So just we want to see the right programs for the right people so that we are able to meet our demands in health. And then secondly, we will also want to have uh, a clear location of where are they. We would like to have all uh, training institutions located in one aspect of Uganda. Regional balance is of utmost uh, interest to us. There is a gap in the training. The capacity of training is not yet.
it is not to our expectation. However, issues to discuss were still many and the Review Commission chairperson suggested the team from the Uganda Medical and Dental Practitioners Council visits again on a day they will agree upon to continue the discussions. I want to thank the commissioners for their input and patience. There are issues I wanted to raise, but I will not raise them now, we'll wait for the future.